Howdy, guys. How's everyone doing tonight? Tonight we're talking about uh, where is where is uh, your <laughs> your loot. Um, I, I, I want to read a, a section of scripture before we start. Um, out of the book of Matthew, chapter six, verses nineteen through twenty-four. Uh, I'll be reading out of the ESV because it is the most holy of versions. That is a joke. Um, it's just the version I prefer to use. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna read this here for you. Uh, I'm sure Seth will have it on the screen. If not, he's fired. Uh, Do not lay up for yourselves <laughs> treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness? No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. All right, guys, I want to I want to break this down for you. Uh, first, Seraph mentioned that I should address the fact that I am not in a gang. That is that is not why I'm wearing this beanie. Uh, it is like five degrees in my basement. Uh, that's why I'm wearing a coat and a beanie. And if I could have found my gloves, I'd be wearing those, too, because it is freezing down here. Um, but uh, I want to I want to walk through this first. But first, I want to talk about uh, how many of you guys have played either Skyrim or Fallout 4 or another RPG where where uh, there's just tons and tons of different like special items you can collect. Um, you know, uh, when I played Skyrim, if I were to boot up Skyrim right now, uh, my character would have a house, and in that house is a chest, and in that chest is every single special item I've ever found. If it had, if it, if it was unique, like one of a kind, or if it was, if it was, uh, you know, something that had a really nice enchantment on it or something really cool, um, I would keep it and I would hoard it all away. And I'd put it in, in one, one chest, in one house. I'd keep it all together. Um, you know, same thing in Fallout 4. I wish I could boot up Fallout 4 for, for you right now and show you, uh, in Sanctuary, I've got one little container it looks like a little blue lunch box and inside of that there are something like 2000 items that are all unique items <laughs> because i collected them and i hoarded them and i stored them away and i kept them to where i knew i could always find them right that's where all of my characters possessions are that's where my time was invested that's where my my focus was it's where my heart was in the game was taking this stuff and and hoarding it all and keeping it all together and keeping it safe and building a collection, right? In Skyrim, you've got the masks, the the dragon priest masks, and you wanna you know you wanna get that display up on in your house and, and have all the dragon masks displayed. That was me. I did that. You get the weapon racks and you're putting you know on one rep weapon rack you've got you've got like 15 different kinds of bows. You've got the glass things that open up and you've got a magical sword laying in there. And you've got uh, sets of armor on mannequins all throughout your house. You know, if you've played Skyrim, you know how it is. You know, you play uh, Borderlands uh, where it's randomly generated weapons. Those things are awesome. They've got some really cool ones. And then you collect a whole bunch of different brands of guns, uh, different different elements. You know, we, we do the, we play these games and we're, we're collecting this loot. And this, this is what this is talking about. You know, do not lay up for yourself and replace the word treasure with loot. Just... Um, do not do not lay up for yourselves loot on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal right in, in Skyrim or Fallout you're, you're building this you keep your stuff safe you hide it away even though characters don't walk up and steal your stuff you still you put it somewhere where you're never going to lose it right you don't want to forget where you hid all of your unique items you don't want to forget where you put them all but lay up for yourselves loot in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys, nor thieves not break and steal. Our heart, guys, this, this section of scripture is about where is our heart? Where is your loot? Where are you putting your time? Where are you investing your time, your energy, your money, your spirit? Um, where are you? Where are you focusing? What What is important to you? What kind of loot do you have and where are you putting it? 
right? We, we tend, we, we, we invest time in the things that are important to us. We, we give it our focus and our energy. When, when my loot is in sanctuary in fallout four, I'm going to be spending a lot of time in sanctuary, right? I go back there every time I clear, uh, to finish a quest and I have some new items. I go back to sanctuary in Skyrim. Uh, I use the, the mansion in, um, solitude. I would take, I would go to the mansion in solitude and I, I had the, the house there. Uh, and I would have a chest, um, up by the bedroom and I would go there every time I found a new item, I'd go back there and I, I'd always go to solitude night. That's where I'd do my business. I'd sell my goods, get gold, buy new arrows. If I needed them, restock on health potions, you know, things like that. That was where my time was. That's where my character's time was invested. It's where my time was invested. That's where my focus was. And so just like in our games, in real life, we have to be careful about where we're putting our hearts where we're investing our time because our treasure, our treasures on earth, you know, we buy this cool stuff. I have, I just got a new, uh, a new 4k TV that I got uh, for Christmas, right? I got a Google home. I got a 4k TV. I got some really cool technology upstairs. I've got this really nice computer here. You know, I've got all this, these gaming things. This is my treasure here on earth, but it's going to die eventually, right? Th these electronics will burn out. No matter how good care I take, I, I, I take care of them. But no matter how good I am to these electronics, eventually they're going to stop working, or you know, I'll something will go wrong. I'll drop one. Uh, I'll I'll break a monitor like I did when I moved. Right? The, things happen. Somebody could break in and steal this stuff. But my treasure in heaven, my treasure in heaven, that's it's not stuff. It's not things. It's not a cool. It's not. Uh, light bulbs that I can turn off with my voice, right? I've got a couple of those upstairs. They're pretty awesome. I just say, hey, Google, turn on lamp, and whoosh, it's on. It's pretty cool. But my, my treasure in heaven, that's, that's completely different. It's not, it's not stuff. It's, it's our spiritual treasure. It's, you know, are you working? Are you serving? Are you, are you ministering? Are you investing time in sharing the gospel is your heart focused on god and on his message or is your heart focused on getting some cool things here on earth because our spiritual treasure can't be destroyed our spiritual loot you know it's it's just it's just it's just like it's just like in in in, in skyrim right we, we keep our loot, and if we were to just put it in a random chest in a cave, after a few days, those chests empty. They auto-empty, and they'll reset eventually. But if you were to put it in a chest in your house, it's safe, right? Here in the real world, when we invest all of our time and energy on stuff here on Earth, it dies with us. My Xbox could last for the next 60 years. I doubt it. <laughs> but let's pretend it lasts another 60 years and I'm 84 and I die. It's not going to the afterlife with me. It's staying here, right? What matters at that point is how much time did I spend investing in people's eternity? How much time did I spend investing in the internal kingdom of God? Where was my treasure? Where was my loot? Where was I storing my loot? Where was I putting my heart? Was I focused only here on earth? Or was I worried about something higher, something more important? I will move on to the next verse here. Um, the eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is open, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness? Right. This is this is again going back to where where are we investing our time? Uh, you know, I want to talk a little bit about some of these these things, these bad eyes, the, the darkness that we we look at. What what are some things in, in video games? We you know we have we have really awesome games like like I'm gonna keep mentioning them because they're the greatest ever. Skyrim and Fallout 4, right? The loot in those games, you just have to find it. You go around, you kill some some death claws, a couple legendary death claws. You you hunt down a dragon, you steal its horde, right? After you take its soul, that's a completely different story. You kill the dragon, you take its soul, you you take its loot, 
that's that's some good loot, right? That's good stuff. It's it's free. Doesn't cost you anything except for some time. Then you've got games uh, where you have to to pay to get loot boxes. Seraph really wanted me to work loot boxes into this message. He 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 texts me and he's like he's like he's like I got this really cool intro. I need you to talk about loot boxes. <laughs> Throwing them under the bus. <laughs> No, but it, it works, right? You know, if our eye is bad, if we've got a bad way of getting loot, if we're focusing on bad things, if we're if we're spending all of our time in darkness, that's what it is. That's what we're filled with. We're filled with darkness. If our game is full of just horrible ways to get loot, like loot boxes, pain, pay, microtransactions, that's right. That's that's the I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> If, we're, if we have to keep paying for loot boxes and paying for loot boxes just to hope we get that that one halfway decent item so we stand a chance in multiplayer, right? That's that's where it's going to darken that game experience for us. It's going to ruin that experience. You know, it's no fun. Is that a Battlefront 2 loot box in the graphic? Uh, it might be. I think you have to ask Seraph. It is. He says it is. Um, that's a whole other story. I could I could get into that right now. Everyone needed to calm down when that game first came out, but that's fine. Whole different, whole different matter. But it, it falls under that premise of you know we don't want. There are good loot boxes like like Overwatch. The loot boxes they don't cost you anything. You just earn them, right? And then you've got darkness. You've got the bad loot boxes that you have to pay for. Darkness. <laughs> it's it sounds funny, but it's true, right? We we have to we we find these this darkness and this light. It's just like in real life, man, if, if, if we're focusing on, on light things, on good things, on holy things, that's what our experience is going to be. That's what, that's what our, we're going to be full of is holiness. If we're focusing on darkness, on, on evil, on, on hatred, on anger, on lust, on pride, on selfishness, if we're spending our time in these dark places, our life is full of darkness. Our loot is corrupted. Our heart is blackened, right? The last verse here, no one can serve two masters for he will either hate one and love the other or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. That's... It's so powerful right there. You cannot serve both God and money. We can't have two things that we're, we're serving. And you're always serving something, whether you know it or not. You're either serving God or you're serving the devil. Since in, in the Bible, if you don't believe me, look it up. You know, we all have something that we're serving. You're serving self. You're serving someone else. You're, no matter what you do, you are enslaved to something. You can be enslaved to sin you can be enslaved to this to this idea of oh i'm fine on my own that's a chain that's something that you're serving right we can we can be enslaved to our our video games i love gaming don't get me wrong but this last week i i actually you know i took a <clears throat> I didn't stream it all this week. I only gamed for a couple hours, like one day. And um, it's actually been kind of nice just taking a break and taking a step back because I find that the more I play games, the more I want to And the more I, I want to spend time and the more I want to, to store up my treasure, put my heart, my focus on gaming, right? But that's an earthly loop. That's, a, that's earthly loot is investing time in gaming. Now, we've done something unique here at God Squad Church, and we've taken an earthly loot, and we've turned it into a, a heavenly loot, right? We, we use gaming as a way to, to spread God's message, as a way to, to forward the kingdom of God. But we can't serve two masters. Our hearts have to be solely focused on God. Whatever means that we take to store up those heavenly treasures to, to to build our heavenly loot you know when i when i keep i keep mentioning this these pile this storing up loot i imagine uh if anyone's seen the, the uh the hobbit trilogy i imagine smaug uh on his piles that that chamber just filled with gold and jewels and 
and and uh, you can see the goblets and and the, the gemstones just everywhere scattered, piled up so high. You know, he's actually buried under it when they first find him. And we can either store that up here, where we leave it behind. If you've seen uh, Scrooge McDuck diving into his his pile of gold, that's the other thing I picture. That's our earthly loot. That's all earthly things. They don't they don't last. They're not eternal. They don't go with us when we die. Our, our treasure, our loot, our hearts have to be focused upward. Focusing our hearts upward, serving the, the right master. Serving God. It's, it's not as complicated as some might think it is. It's, it's a matter of spending time with him, reading, praying, sharing the gospel with others. taking time out of your day to pray for somebody in need, to help somebody in need. You know, praying is great. I'll, praying is fantastic. But if you can help somebody in need, help them. Build up that treasure in heaven. Build up your pile of loot in eternity. Share the gospel with people. Impact their eternity. Show them that where they're, they're building up their loot doesn't matter. That there's a a better place to store their loot. That there's a place where moth and rust do not destroy, where people can't break in and steal it, where no one can take it away. That's eternity. Build up that eternal loot pile. I I just want to leave you guys with the thought, where is your loot? Where have you been focused? Where is your heart right now? Has your heart been here on earth, worrying, being anxious? The next section of scriptures, we're not going to read them, but they they talk about being anxious and worrying about about earthly things that, that, frankly, God's already taken care of that we don't need to worry ourselves with. Where is your heart? Are you so focused on the next day's chores, the next the next task you have to accomplish that you're not storing up any heavenly loot your heart's not focused on God are you so consumed with self with your day to day that you've forgotten that there's something more important where's your loot where's your heart or Maybe you don't know God. Maybe you, you haven't even ever given this thought of, of where, where are you storing your loot? Where are you putting yourself? Where are you investing your time? Maybe that's never been a thought for you. I challenge you today. We want to pray for you. There'll be people in the Discord uh, after service. That I'll, be, I'll be in there for a little bit. Um, you know, I'll pray for you. I'll pray with you. If you want to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you want to start building up that that loot pile in eternity, we'll be there to talk to you and pray with you. Maybe you're thinking, man, I I haven't haven't added to that loot pile in a long time, and my heart hasn't been focused there. I've been been so, so busy building my loot here. We'll pray with you. It's not too late to turn to turn in your focus, to change where you're storing your loot. It's not too late to decide that you're going to focus upward instead of inward. It's never too late to give God your all. He's waiting. And he wants to ask you, where's your loot? I want to pray for you guys real quick. uh, And then I don't know if we have a closing anything or see you in the Discord. I'm sure Sarah will whisper in my ears while I'm praying for you. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for what you've been doing here in God's church. We thank you, Lord, for the lives changed, the, the, the people who, who we've been able to uh, see grow, Father. We thank you for just the wonderful ministry that you have blessed us with, God, that you have, you have trusted us with to, to steward and to shepherd, Father. God, we ask, uh, Lord, that, that you challenge each and every person who has heard this message tonight about where they're keeping their loot. 
God, I pray that, that you, as you've challenged me this week, God, this message isn't just for them. I, I hope they, they know that, Lord, that they can see that this message is just as much for me. Because this week, Lord, you've been challenging me about where I've been my loop, where I've been focused. God, I pray that just as you've challenged me, you challenge each and every one of them. Lord, that they feel a stirring inside them, God, to, to stop building up loot here and to start thinking about building up that eternal loot. To, to decide that where they've been keeping their loot is not worth it. It's not worth the pain that comes in the end. God, I pray that, that you comfort and, and those that are hurting right now, Lord. I pray that you... You come into these different situations. I, you know, we, we have 54 people watching right now. God, I don't know most of them, and I don't know half their situations, God, but I know that, that you have a plan. Father, I pray that, that you make yourself real to them, God. That they can see that their loot's in the wrong spot. And God, I pray that you you encourage them and you comfort them, Father, and that you stir inside them to make that decision change. In your name we pray, God. Amen.